Good morning, witches. Welcome back to Pagan Pathways with Jessica. This morning, we're going to be using this little frame I got at the Dollar Tree. Um, it was just $1, and we're going to make a pendulum board out of it. Now, um, I do know that they have a lot of different um, things in the frames. I picked this one because I like the circle in the middle. Um, so, with that, um, we're going to go ahead and get started. But first, if you would, give me a like, a share, and if you make your own, make sure you leave me a picture down in the comment section because I'd love to see what you made. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that um, subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time I upload. Alright, which is, let's go ahead and get started. All right, we're all set up here and I have this folk art home decor chalk and sheepskin is what it's called. It is an off-white beige color. That's what I was going for. So I'm going to see how that comes out. We're just going to take this and open it up. And I'm going to pop this right off. See, there's a there's just a piece of wood holding it up because when I put it back in, I want it to lay flat, not stand up. I mean, I could change my mind, but you know, <laughs> for now. And this is um, wood. This is a wood disc. This is just a paper, but I'm not gonna try to take the paper off. I am just gonna paint right over the top of it. So yeah, we're just gonna give this all a nice coat. I, I do have some ideas for what I wanna do with the outside, but we'll get to that. Uh-oh, I'm having trouble popping this right off. <laughs> so. All right, guys, I'm going to go pop this in the microwave since it is all wood and soften that glue so that I can get this off. I'll be right back. All right, I popped it in the microwave for 10 seconds and it loosened that glue right up for me. So there, it came right off. Yes, the microwave works to get the glue off. And this is probably the size we're going, the side we're going to use. So I'm going to um, use a little bit of sandpaper to sand off the rest of the glue. And then, yeah, we, we're not going to use... I was gonna, I'm sorry, I got out of frame here. I was going to use the front side to paint, but I think since this is just a natural wood, because I really just thought it was gonna be cardboard, um, yeah, I'm just gonna sand that off and then paint the front. So let me get some sandpaper. I guess I wasn't near as prepared as I thought, but that's the thing. When I do these DIYs, I do them with you. I have an idea in my head, but then sometimes that changes and yep, just bear with me. All right, guys, now um, I did damage the wood a little bit. So if you don't mind, I'm sorry, I keep getting out of frame here. Um, there is some damage to the wood from where I had pried up the um, glue. I should have microwaved it first when it was difficult. I didn't, so I kind of messed it up. I am gonna go ahead and try to paint this side. If it looks too damaged I'm gonna turn it over and try this side but I really want that natural wood painted so I'm gonna definitely try this first so now we're just gonna go ahead and give everything a base coat in this white as I had said um, I do have this trim which I found at the Dollar Tree it is burlap and white and I think after I paint it I'm going to go around the frame with it but I haven't made any decisions that's just something I was thinking about I also have this Dollar Tree twine and yes I'm really into the boho almost a farmhouse boho style is what all of my stuff is in these days and since I will have this out and be using it with my pendulum I am definitely thinking that I'm going to maybe incorporate the twine I'm just not sure so um, I do have a thicker twine now this roll is four dollars at Walmart it's absolutely worth it this is thicker and there's so much and I'm again this whole big old roll which is big as this frame um, is only four dollars at Walmart so I might use it that, that's just for some for instances if you don't want to go to Walmart and buy this you could always and if and that's only if you like this style of course when you do yours you can paint it any way you want to um, but they do sell nautical rope at well uh, Dollar Tree and this is just a little bit thicker than I would want it to be on here but it would still look nice so if you wanted to follow along with what I'm doing you can use any of those things I just showed you or do it any way you want to and that's you know this is just my take on it and I would love to see yours again if you do one make sure you leave me a comment down 
a picture in the comments down below. All right, well, let's go ahead and just get started on getting this painted here. And I was just blowing the dust off. Give this a good shake. And now we're just gonna go ahead and get started. And since I'm painting the entire thing, I am gonna use a larger brush. And I'm gonna start right on the inside. Now this, this paint is a little bit thicker than just the regular acrylic paint, but you can use folk art paint if you want to. I mean, again, you just use what you have and Gonna let that dry and then do a second coat because one coat's not gonna cover this and when it's dry and that second coat's on I'll be right back all right so I have two coats on here and then two coats on here and that's not so bad because I have um, something I'm gonna do the middle so as you can see it's not perfect but you can't really see the flaws that well um, what I'm about to do is, is I have this roll of ribbon, which is also from Walmart and this entire roll, and there's a lot is $4. So again, you can find an alternative at Dollar Tree, but since I already have this, this is what I'm going to be using. I've cut a piece to fit on the inside and then I'm going to take this twine and I'm going to go around the border. So that's our next step. I am also have decided that I'm going to take the smaller twine and wrap it around the outside of this circle. So, yep, that's what we're going to do. And then I do think that I'm probably going to use this Dollar Tree. And, and this twine is from Dollar Tree, if I did not already tell you that. You can get this um, small twine at Dollar Tree. And then this ribbon that I had found at Dollar Tree that is burlap and white uh, rope of some type, I'm going to probably put on the outside. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I was sitting here trying to plan it out while we were waiting for it to dry. Now that it's dry, I believe that's what we're going to do here. So yeah, I feel a little stumbly over my words. I think I cut this the right size, I'm hoping. And um, I need to trim it just a little bit more because it is just a little too big. I want it to be a little smaller than the inside so that it sits, sits the way I want it to. a little bit at a time because I don't want to take too much off and then have to recut it so um, that's a pretty good fit and I am going to just hot glue it so yeah and then we're going to take this twine as I said and just go around the edges I might not even need to hot glue that down I could probably just oh no my my paint isn't all the way dry on that side, so I guess it'll be just a few more minutes. Okay, with that's dry, we're going to go ahead and glue this trim on. So this is going to be a little tedious, and if you have finger protectors, I would suggest using them because this is very thin. But this is a low temp hot glue gun, so I feel like I'll be okay. No, I'm just, uh, I hope I wasn't off camera. I wasn't looking, sorry. But now that I got that all glued on, I'm just going to lightly take my lighter and clean up the hair. And there we have the middle piece. It's just a, it's just a light trim, but you'll be able to see it because it'll be sitting in the middle of that. So I wanted that on there. So we're going to put that off to the side and I'm going to um, go around the outside. Now this is going to make it a little too long, but the reason I'm doing this is because I want to burn the hairs before I um, put it on the inside. So we're going to cut it about right there. I'm going to just cut it a little longer than we need it. And then I'm, I'm going to take the lighter 
and I'm going to clean up the hairs before I start gluing it on the inside of the extra fibers. So then as soon as this is dry, we'll be able to do the inside. Okay, I think we're pretty dry here. So now I'm just gonna use my hot glue gun and put down just a little bit of glue. It was always such a sticky mess. Okay. I'm just using my thing here to push this down but there is what it looks like I really just like the look of that so well, as I said that will go on top but I feel like it's a little white for me so I'm probably going to take some more of the rope and maybe go around the top I was thinking maybe, yeah. So I'm probably going to cut another strand, burn it like I did the other, and then uh, do the border. And then I'll be uh, right back with you. So I do like that a little better. It's a little less white and it added some more color to it. Don't get me wrong. I really like the white, but too much white is too much white. So now we're going to work on this. This will be the pendulum board, but this will be the beautiful display that it's in. So I'm going to get a paint pen and I'll be right back. Okay, I believe this metallic marker came from the Dollar Tree. I could be incorrect, it might have came from Walmart, but it is of the thinner top, um, fine point. And what we're going to do is go no, or yes, no, yes, no, and that'll make the center. Now, I might also put a pentagram or something in the middle, but as of right now, this will be the finishing touches of our project and I want to see what you make again I would like to see how you do that all right I've decided to start over so um since I made a mess out of the other one I got a new disc and um then I cut the words from my Cricut because that's what I wanted to do. Now these are very similar in color as you can see here and there's nothing wrong with doing it the way that I had initially said. But two things I wanted to do here. I'm going to use a thicker rope to go around this and I'm going to use my Cricut cutout because I don't know, I just want to. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and weed this off and then um, apply it on and I will all right as you can see I have it redone here I love the lettering that I use for this it's called ants on the Cricut it's for personal use and then I am also going to go ahead and put that a block on the back because I think that making it stand up further will make it stand out more and I don't know about you, but I really like the look of this. I've never seen a pendulum board done quite the way that I have it done here. Most of the time they're black and silver or black and white and they're dark. And here recently, everything I'm doing is more light and um, like I had said earlier, colorful because I'm doing more of the a boho farmhouse feel to things and I'm just really enjoying it. Let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this project and I'll see you witches later.